All right, guys, welcome back to It Kind of Works. And today I have a really cool little board here for you. So this is an LC Tech uh, serial relay. So what that is, is we have a standard ESP8266-01 module plugged into this uh, board here. And on this board is a little serial uh, device here that controls the relay and we have a little regulator down in there. And basically, it's a really, really compact and easy way to have your ESP module control a relay. Now, I will note, I believe they also have two relay versions of this board, uh, but this is the one relay version. And what I find really cool about this, uh, there are a couple things. First of all, you can use a regular ESP01 module so those, you know, there are a dime a dozen these days. You can just pop them in and out, uh, which also means it's really easy to swap programs on these without having to actually reprogram the module. You could just swap in a different, uh, differently programmed module. Uh, another thing that's really nice is that these are super reliable. So in the past, I've done a lot of videos showing different ways of hooking up relays to ESPs. And honestly, they work really well. I mean, you know, they, well, okay, they kind of work. This though really works uh, because it's got a bunch of filtering capacitors. I mean, that board is pretty loaded just to be for, uh, you know, a simple relay. So. They've actually done their work and, and made this into a really reliable little device. So I know a lot of you guys already, the moment you saw this, it was a relay and an ESP, I'm sure your first thought was the sun off. Now, why am, why am I not showing the sun off here? Well, I've already done, talked about the sun off a little bit in past videos, but this is a really simple solution that in being really simple also makes it somewhat limited. Now, this of course is also somewhat limited because any board that you get that's sort of a specialty board will generally limit things. But the sun off is limited in a particular way, which is you can only use this with AC power. So if you have some just, you know, maybe you're trying to control a DC motor or something like that, your only option here is to control mains power. And sometimes you, that's not what you want to do. Uh, I have used these, they are nice, but this I think is a better DIY module for controlling a relay. Just because yes, you will need to have external power supply, but it opens up a lot more opportunities with the relay. We can, as you can see, there are three terminals on here, and one of them is the common, and we have normally open and normally closed, which means that we can also now have this relay be a cutoff relay rather than a turn on relay. When we flip it to on, it will sh cut the circuit. So anyway, I really like this module. I have linked down below some very basic code. As you can see, this is basically running a blink code. Uh, I have linked down below that code in case you're interested. Uh, basically, it's just sending a couple bytes over the serial line. Uh, one, you know, a couple that represent off and a couple that represent on. Uh, if you're interested though, I have a much larger program that I am going to do a separate webcast on just because I think it's gonna take 15 minutes or so to go through it. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the video in the top right of the screen right now. And this, I have a really nice program. It's on this module here. See, really nice, you can swap them in and out. Uh, basically, it includes MQTT, a web interface, all that really fun stuff. So if you're interested in that, again, go check out the links in the top right of the screen. All right, guys, well, that's all for today. I just wanted to show you this really cool little module and, you know, maybe get you guys excited about it like I am. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up down below and get subscribed to the channel. And of course, if you have any questions, go to itkindoworks.com forum. And if you just wanna help out the channel today, 
go to patreon.com slash it kind of works and toss in whatever you can. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all later.